The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you find this video and podcast helpful. If you need some help, please feel free to call us at 515-207-2006. We offer free consultations in many areas of law, and we have several geographic locations for your convenience. We serve all of Iowa. We're also happy to meet with you and provide most legal services virtually without requiring you to leave your home. Enjoy the video. Hello, I'm Gene Nassif, an attorney at O'Flaherty Law. My practice areas include business transactional matters as well as some landlord-tenant issues, as well as a bit of family law. Now, today we're going to talk about whether an Iowa school can force you to get a guardianship in order to enroll a child that you're taking care of. Now, there are many circumstances where parents are simply unable to take care of their children. Parents may have passed, be ill, be struggling to the point that they're unable to take care of their kids. These children may have to leave their homes and live in new communities. This can be temporary and sometimes permanent. These step-in or substitute parents can run into issues when they try to enroll their children in school. A school may attempt to tell them that they must get a guardianship over their children prior to enrolling them in school. Now, is guardianship a good idea? Guardianships are typically not meant for temporary situations. If you expect to be taking care of the children for a significant period of time, multiple months, six months or more, you should strongly consider getting a guardianship. If neither parent is available to sign the documents or give consent for medical treatment, getting a guardianship is especially important. However, for temporary matters, guardianships aren't really necessarily important or needed. Are there any concerns you should have when getting a guardianship? The biggest concern with guardianships are the responsibilities associated with them. It's not something to undergo if you're not prepared to take care of the children as if they were your own. Setting up a guardianship will also require court action. The substitute parents will need a lawyer. If one or both parents object to the guardianship, a trial will likely be needed to gain guardianship. As guardians, the substitute parents will need to file reports every year with the courts in order to continue their guardianship. Furthermore, the guardianship will continue until the court decides to end it. Can an Iowa school force you to become a guardian prior to enrolling your children in school? In short, the answer is no. Schools in Iowa cannot keep children out of school because the substitute parents did not obtain a guardianship. Whether the child lives with the biological parent or the legal guardian does not matter. Now, this is protected both by Iowa and federal law, notably the McKinney-Ventno Homeless Assistance Act, which protects the education rights of children who experience homelessness and home insecurities. Where can you enroll a child in school? Under state and federal law, a child who does not live with a parent or legal guardian is considered an unaccompanied youth. The law allows these children to attend school either where the children was last enrolled or where the child is actually living. This gives a bit of flexibility allowing the decision to be made in the child's best interest. Now, are there any other legal protections for children living with substitute parents? There was a federal court case that further uh, solidified the McKinney Act which established the legal right for children to go to school in the district where their substitute parents were living. Finally, are there any alternatives to gaining guardianship? If both of the biological parents are willing to sign over a power of attorney, it may work as an alternative to guardianship. A power of attorney gives some of the power to act on behalf of the parent, but not all of it. The biological parents retain their parental rights to the children. In situations where the parent might be struggling but is willing to cooperate, this method can work well. Additionally, only one biological parent needs to sign the power power of attorney to grant the substitute parent these rights. Now, handling all of these issues with schooling and guardianships can be difficult. 
If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our firm. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Hello again, this is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you enjoyed this video and podcast. If you did, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. If you need legal help in this or any other area of law, please do not hesitate to reach out and schedule a consultation. Most consultations are free and all can be conducted remotely if you'd like. Please email us, book online, or call us at 515-207-2006. We have many locations for your convenience. We serve all of Iowa. Thank you again for watching.